Hello, welcome to Kitchen Scrap Gardening. My name is Johanna. I work at Central Library where one of the fun things I get to do is help coordinate the seed library. For the last few weeks we have been going through the pantry looking for things to plant. But today we're going to rummage through the recycle bin and make planters. I like to use these containers for growing microgreens and for starting seeds, especially seeds that I've had trouble getting to germinate because they provide really even moisture, which is what a lot of garden seeds require. First of all, you need a bottle. As big a bottle as you can find, plastic that you can cut through, and well, well rinsed. An old t-shirt or cotton rag that nobody wants anymore. Garden soil. It's not a great idea to use yard dirt because that will compact pretty quick. Something to cut with. Be very, very careful with this part because the plastic, once it's cut, is very, very sharp. Water and seeds. All right, so we're gonna cut our bottle right about halfway. Uh, every bottle is built a little differently, so you'll get the hang of it. It's not that big a deal. I'm gonna start with a knife. There we go. And then just cut. I'm gonna leave this plastic label on because it's actually gonna do us a, uh, a favor. Most plant roots do not like to be in the light. They like darkness. So that plastic label is gonna help keep it dark. All right, so we have our cup. Ta-da! Now let's make the wick. Here's the t-shirt. Cut. Oh, these are terrible scissors. Bye, scissors. All right, I'm gonna tie a knot. Pretty fat, big knot. Maybe even two. I'm gonna take this and push it through. All right. See the knot holding it in there? So the water is gonna travel up through the t-shirt into the soil reservoir. And then we fill the reservoir with water. There we go. And fill the top up with potting soil. All right, our little self-watering container is ready for planting. Let's pick it up. Yep, the water is already wicking through that cotton. And I did, I took a marker and I wrote down what I was going to plant and the day I was going to plant it uh, because I've done this before and I forget stuff. All right, these are morning glory seeds. So I've already soaked them. They have a really hard seed coat. That's part of why I decided to use this particular container to get them started. So they get that nice, even moisture, tucking them in tucking them in. This is just for starting. They're not going to grow in this container forever. When they get big enough, they're going to go in the ground on have a, some kind of support so they can put their vines out. All right. So they're not really self-watering. You do have to check them. And sometimes you have to refill the reservoir, especially as it gets hot, the water is going to evaporate a lot faster. And you also want to make sure that the water does not get gross like this one's. It's about time to change the Zatar's water. Thank you for joining me. There's probably lots of other things in your pantry and your recycling bin that you can use for the garden. Have fun exploring. I hope your garden goes well.